Hi guys, I wanted to make a video how to get email notifications for MetaTrader 4. You can also get it from MT5. Um, I'm currently using it from MT5 because my uh, MetaTrader 5 is running constantly uh, because I've got my EA robot on there. So it's running 24-5. And the reason for having it on is that you get a notification. So uh, it doesn't really matter what program you use to get notifications, but this one works quite well. I would recommend that you guys check your pivots because uh, they're very binary and it's scientific and you want to have something technical when in conjunction with sentiment so this is the reason I would recommend using the multi-pair pivot point scanner alert so you get notifications you can get pop-up notification uh, or email but this video is about email notifications so uh, I, I'll point you here so I'll put this link on the YouTube video and there's the MQ4, which is MetaTrader 4. This is MQ5 for MetaTrader 5. And I'll just talk you through the indicator. Uh, so it looks a little bit complicated, but what it does, it scans the market watch for your watched um, pairs. And then whenever it crosses your parameters, for example, I want monthly pivot alerts. So that's what monthly means. So this is just the list of recent alerts. Um, and so that's that. So uh, we know the Euro USD is near S1. We've crossed monthly pivot. So, you know, we are bearish because we're below monthly pivot and we're approaching S1. Uh, so let's talk about the email bit. So if we go to right click indicators, uh, you'd install it as you would normally. You, hopefully, you understand how to install indicators, uh, file, oops, that. File, uh, open data folder, uh, MQL5, indicators, uh, it goes in there, I believe. Yeah, so that's where it goes. You just plonk it in there. So that's where your uh, indicators will sit. So that's how you get there. So once it's in there, then you go to uh, view, uh, navigator, and then you drag the file across, the indicator across. So right click, uh, indicator list, double click. Um, so what we want to do, I would recommend doing monthly pivots, but you can do any pivot, <laughs> but you'll get lots of notifications. So I'm just, I'm just selecting one, the monthly pivot, because um, it's the strongest. So uh, you can have a look at the settings uh, if you want to. Use notification alerts, no. Use pop-up alerts, no. Email alerts, yes. Okay, so that's all you've got to do from uh, this perspective. Don't forget you can use any indicator, but this one does have email alerts. So if your indicator that you're using does have this option, it's quite simple. So you obviously you select it on or yes. Uh, if I, from memory, it's tools, options, and then email. Uh, so in here, enable email notifications. You will need to do a search for your SMTP server. So if you're using Outlook, that's your server address. Uh, your password is your email password. And then you want it sent from your email. And then it'll just be uh, bounced back to your email. So that's that. Uh, because I've got two-factor authentication, it wouldn't allow me to do it straight away. It wanted me to create a unique app password. So for this video, because I don't know whether or not you've got two-factor authentication on your email, uh, you should. Uh, but if you haven't, then this wouldn't apply to you. So um, this is how you do it. It's quite simple. If you want to know the um, SMTP server for Gmail, you just go to SMTP server Gmail. And then, uh, uh, I don't know which one it's going to be. It's going to be somewhere here. There you go. That's the SMTP server for Gmail. So it's dead easy. Um, the only issue is if you've got two-factor authentication, it won't allow you to use the your standard email password. You'll have to create a unique app password, and that's something completely different. You could be using Yahoo. You could be using email.com, you could be using Outlook or Hotmail or Gmail, but that's how you do it. So you just simply populate that field, your email address, your password. Uh, if you've got 
uh, two-factor authentication, then you'll have to put unique one in. So that isn't my email password. That's my unique password that I had to create at Outlook.com. Uh, maybe I could show you that. I don't know if I can remember it, but I had to do it in here. I, in fact, I had to do it on my phone, uh, but there's an option here somewhere. But yeah, this is what it will look like. You'll get um, so euro pound cross monthly pivot, for example, and it gives you a level. So you can trade off that level. But for the sake of this video, because I don't know what email address you have, I can't really cover the two-factor authentication bit. Um, but uh, it's quite straightforward. It was basically, uh, if you go to the MetaTrader 5, and then there's a journal, and uh, it will say fa failure. If it fails, then you have to do the outlook.com, gmail.com. Uh, but you should know whether or not you've got two-factor two authentication. So and that's that so hopefully it helped it's fairly straightforward but it's just the uh, security nature of your email address which i can't cover in the video so hopefully it helped i'll be back tomorrow morning and we'll have to wait and see it's been quite naughty um some of these pairs um see my robot it was um it got me out at that high which is quite great really to be honest it got me out at 13806 the high of the day was 13807. The stop loss cluster was 13805. So there could be something in this robot. It got me out at the right time. That's if it falls. This is my uh, target uh, for my break even. And that's where it's going to sell next if we do rally. And that's where we're going to get to. So I'm, I'm looking at 13694 to exit. So. Um, it does prove it works quite well, but this is a video for another time. I'll cover this robot, but it is very naughty because it does a martingale. And so basically it averages. Um, so it can be uh, it can be quite scary, especially if you don't know what you're doing. And it is a bit of a gamble, but it looks like it got me out at just the right time. And the higher the day and the stop loss cluster. So there could be something in, in it. Uh, hopefully the... Video helped with the email a bit. It's quite straightforward, just tools, options, and then there. So you just populate that data. The password bit will be the issue, but if you do have any problems, just let me know, and I can help, maybe help you. I, I've done it on Outlook. It was quite tricky, but I haven't done it on Gmail or any other server. So that's my unique password there, which I had to generate on my phone. So that's that. Um, I'll be back tomorrow. Very naughty behaviour because we've got end of month and so we had to expect a lot of chop. I think this was a stop hunt to be honest with you and that's just, just FX for you. If anyone says that trading is easy then they're lying basically. It is tricky but if you've got an idea of some confluence then you know you, you, you'll do okay. So I think that's a stop hunt. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Have a good night and I'll speak to you soon.